Hi guys, we're here at Blue Studios in Paris with the amazing Gary Lucas, um, known from uh, Captain Beefheart, Jeff Buckley, and uh, Gods and Monsters, your own band. Yes. And um, we're here to do to today to do a flashback X4 tone print and a regular flashback tone print, which is a delay tone print. Right. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what you use delay for typically? I love uh, the sound of looping often t as a way to to, especially in my solo gigs, to play against my guitars. That's one thing that I'm like big on yeah. using. But I also love the uh, psychedelic effect of like some kind of extreme parameter, sometimes in a backwards guitar mode. Yeah. To just break up the normal like flow of my guitar sounds and soloing. Do you tend to, when you use that live, do you tend to just, you know, Stump on that kind of thing when you feel like it. If it's, is it like a planned out thing that you no, know, it's, it's like a, that goes into it's, the it's n usually never planned out, and mm. that's the thing. I mean, uh, sometimes it's fun to just like you know, it, in the spur of the moment. So we talked about maybe trying to come up with like a reverse sound for yeah for for flashback. Sure. If you use backwards uh, right. delay in that sense, would you typically want to hear the dry guitar sound, or would you cut that out altogether? I normally would cut it out altogether. Oh. When you use backwards guitar or reverse uh, delay in this sense, the length of the delay actually yeah. determines kind of like the splice length or right. the length of the loop. The longer the uh, the delay time, right the further you'll hear of yourself before yes. it kind of wraps over again. If we put it to around a second, I think, then you, you know, it won't be like, you no, know, okay, the audience let's sitting, let's what's this guy doing? That's pretty cool. Can you put in the normal guitar signal too, a yep. little bit? Almost do like a like a conversation, yeah. regular guitar. That's what I like. I like this. We've done a tone print now, which has your dry guitar sound. It has reverse guitar, uh, uh, reverse delay at the same time. So kind of like a backwards guitar following your real guitar. Yes. That's heavily processed, so it's a little bit distorted. It's very nasal to kind of simulate those very first digital processes all that right. didn't sound all that good in like the traditional sense, um, but cool in their yeah. own grungy kind of way. And then added some heavy flanching to that to give it that kind of psychedelic Hendrixy vibe. Yeah. So I hope that's something that I know, love that combines elements of like some of my favorite guitar sounds in one. You know. And I call it the Wayback Machine. I love that sound. <laughs> it's got elements of this uh, with the backwards thing of uh, you know it's other voices. It's like a commentary on what you're playing yeah. thrown back at you in real time, and yet with the backwards thing. It's like trying to find, you know, the interstices where they will match up. It's futuristic, yeah. that's for sure. I mean, it's fun to play too because I get into a very sensuous kind of like psychedelic groove yeah. when I'm playing, trying to find sort of a correlation between the harmonies of the repeated loop yeah. and, the, and the, the actual like direct guitar sound. Well, how would you typically use that kind of, uh, how would you use that kind of sound? In a solo, all of a sudden, right? I'd yeah. be like maybe soloing conventionally. I'd just hit the pr the button, and I'd sail into like a free improv. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so all much. Right, well, I hope. <laughs> yeah, well, let's. <laughs>